Now let's see the next instruction that is I and R M. The first part of the instruction is I and R, which is also known as upward. The remaining part of the instruction is M, that is known as operand. In this instruction, no data is present. It means this instruction is of only one byte. You can see no data in the instruction. Now let's see the meaning of the instruction. INR M. INR M means increment the content of memory location by one. Increment the content of memory location by one. An answer will be stored in the same memory location. Now let's see one example that is I and R M. Before the execution, the content of H and pair is 4000 H. Now what is the meaning of I and R M? It means increment the content of memory location by one and result will be stored in the memory location. But the question is which memory location? So whenever in the instruction M is specified, it means memory location specified in H L pair. So in H L pair, the 4000 H memory location is specified. In the 4000 H, which data is present? 32 H. When this instruction is executed, the 32 H will be incremented and after increment it will be stored in the same memory location. Let's see the whole process of the instruction. This instruction is of one byte. So, when we give this instruction in the memory, it will occupy only one memory location that is I and R. And after this instruction is stored in the memory, the processor will start doing its work, that is to fetch, record, and execute. To fetch the instruction, the processor will perform the first machine cycle, that is upward fetch. When upward fetch is performed, this whole instruction will be transferred to the microprocessor. Then processor will decode that instruction and it will execute. Now during the execution, what is happening? During the execution, the content of memory location will be incremented by 1. Now processor cannot directly increment the content of memory location. If processor wants to increment the data which is present in the memory location, processor first has to read that data. So to increment, the microprocessor will first read that data by performing the memory read. So when microprocessor performs the memory read, this 32 edge will be transferred to the microprocessor. After that, the microprocessor will increment this number by 1, so it will become 33 edge. After the number is incremented, the processor will transfer the data to the same memory location. So the microprocessor will perform memory write. So when microprocessor will perform the memory write, the content of memory location will be changed to 33H. So this is how this instruction is executed. Now what will be the content of HL pair after the execution? After the execution, the content of HL pair will remain unchanged that is 4000H. And how many machine cycles are required? Upward fetch plus memory read plus memory write. And for the incremental instruction, all the flags will be affected apart from only one flag that is carry.